welcome back to my channel or if it is your first time here then welcome my name is charlotte and i make two new videos a week one of those is my food haul and meal plan on a sunday and then the other one could be some cleaning motivation or it could be something to do with mum life so yeah if that's the kind of thing you're interested in then i'd love for you to subscribe and stick around so this week i'm trying ocado for the first time um i've always thought that they were maybe a bit too expensive for me um but i had a look and i thought actually it's not too bad and they do free delivery and i was able to get a slot for the next day so i thought that was really good this section of the video is also kindly sponsored by Jompal and Jompal is a health and fitness app and you may have already seen but I have done a dedicated video um, as a review for the Jompal app and also in that video it was like a what I eat in a day so I chose only meals from the Jompal app for that day and there's so many different meal ideas that you can get on this app and they are all really easy and simple and they even have a video tutorial and the videos are quite short and simple which I really like. So if you'd like to check out that video I will leave a link in the description box and I also put it up here so you can go and check that out and yeah see for yourself what you think about the app and also there is a two week free trial so that you can actually try the app for yourself and see if it works for you and if it doesn't then you can always cancel it or if not that's brilliant you can carry on with it. I also wanted to share a new feature with you which is a shopping list so you can add all of your meals into the app that you'd like to have for the week or I think it even goes up to two weeks um, so you can do breakfast, lunch, dinner and all of your snacks. You could plan that all ahead for a week or two weeks, however long you can choose, however long you'd like to plan for. And then you can click on the shopping list and it will generate a shopping list to show you absolutely everything that you will need. And I like that you can also take off what you don't need because obviously you might already have things in the cupboard or fridge or whatever. Um, so you can take off what you don't need and you can export the shopping list. So I would put it into my notes and then I've got that note with me when I'm doing my shopping so I can see exactly what I need. So if you wanted to be super organised, you could plan a week or two weeks of every single thing that you're going to eat. So you know 100% that you won't need to like do a top up shop or anything. So that's a really good way to save money and to make sure that you're eating well as well. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and I'll leave all the details for John Paul in the description box. And like I said, you can go back and check out my full review and what I eat in a day so you can have a look at what kind of meals um, I made from the John Paul app. So yeah, anyway, now we will get into my Ocado food haul and then there will be my meal plan at the end. Okay, so I'm going to start over this side and we'll get to the most exciting bit at the end. <laughs> okay, so I got some more of this Vimto No Added Sugar Squash. This was on offer, I think it was about £2.15. And then I got these, these are also on offer for £1.50. And then the bread, I've never tried the M&S Best of Both, but I'm sure it's just the same as all the other ones and it was only 55p which I thought was good I was expecting M&S food to be more expensive but actually it wasn't and then I finally found the Marmite breakfast biscuits so I bought three packs um they're already having some now they love them um yeah so I'm so glad that I finally found some of those and then I got some of these school bars I think these were two for three pound or something and then i got some more of these sorine berry and beetroot bakes um we do like the carrot ones as well um but they didn't have any and these are really nice i really like these too they just taste like quite a strong berry flavor and they're really nice um, so yeah i got two packs of those and then I got some more Baby Shark cereal. I think the only places I found this Baby Shark cereal is Sainsbury's and now Ocado. Um, and Jack, he's still a bit, he doesn't like it all the time, but Mila really likes it and he does like it sometimes. And I actually really like it too. So yeah, we got some of that. Got some of these waffles. These are a bit expensive compared to like, you can find these type of waffles in places like B&M and Home Bargains for like, under a pound sometimes i think these were like two pounds something but i just really fancied them because 
I love them and especially warmed up on top of your like tea or coffee and the, the caramel goes all gooey. That is definitely one of my favorite treats. I love that. Another treat I got. <laughs> These, I love like these type of wafers and these are only 74p so they were on offer so I thought I would give them a go. And then got some breadsticks. Jack likes, well they both like snacking on breadsticks but also I wanted to get breadsticks because I finally got this. Um, this was recommended by Simone Alana um, and I don't often go to M&S so I am so glad that I'm getting to try some of the M&S food now i probably will keep going to ocado to be honest i'm really impressed with them um yeah so this is like a plant based hazelnut chocolate spread so it's vegan and apparently it is really nice i'm excited to try that so that'll be a nice snack for me some breadsticks and some, some chocolate spread and then i haven't had this mac and cheese pasta bake for ages um and when i saw it i just thought yeah, I fancy that this week, so I'll get some of that. And then I got some more of this vegan smoky ham because I really like it and Mila really liked it too. So hopefully we can just get this now and not the other normal type of ham. And then I got this oat milk. This was the cheapest one they had and it was 125 so that was really good. Um, so yeah, so I got two of those. Then Mila and Jack's favourite corner yoghurt, it was 12 for £4. You could choose any 12 Muller yoghurts. Um, so yeah, that I thought that was pretty good. And it's probably the same as when you can sometimes get a pack of six for £2 each. So yeah. And then I got two of these as well because they like those as well. And then I got two cucumbers and I think these were about 50p, 55p, so pretty similar to be honest. I think they're 45p in Tesco and Aldi. And I got some bacon, I think that was a normal price as well, I think it was 195 And then I got a pack of um, peppers, some kiwis, baby corn strawberries you get quite a few and that's two pound so that's pretty good and then these pink lady apples i think they were like two pound or two pound fifteen or something i think they were on offer but i haven't had pink ladies for a while and i think these pink kids ones are good because they're not too big and yeah they're really nice and then the freezer stuff i didn't get much so i got these lollies i thought they'd be good for me and jack to have for pudding because they are yogurt yeah 100 percent natural greek style frozen yogurt so yeah i thought they'd be a good pudding for them then got Mila her frozen mango chunks and these are actually cheaper than any other shop normally up there two pound i think these are like one pound i can't remember one pound 25 or something so yeah that's good got some of their corn crispy nuggets which they like and these this is probably why my food shopping is a bit more expensive because these are four pound fifty which is quite expensive but these are like i think they're like a tiktok sensation like everyone's looking for them and they're sold out everywhere so when i saw them i was like definitely have to try these um and i've got two packs because my friend was looking for them as well so i got a pack for her um so yeah we're gonna give these a go i don't know whether to do like a video of us trying it and like a little review or something let me know in the comments if you would be interested in that but yeah um it came to about 70 pounds i think um but one thing about ocado i didn't realize that the cut off to edit the order was 5 25 and normally it's in the evening like 10 11 o'clock so i would have added more because i haven't actually done a meal plan yet i will see if i can work out a meal plan with what i've got um and if not i have to add some more i'll go to tesco or something but yeah we'll move on to the meal plan now <laughs> in the time it's taken to film this and then film my meal plan i would have worked it all out so yeah we'll move on to the meal plan now and you'll see what we're gonna do this week i thought i'd also just show you the bags they're color coded so cupboard fridge and freezer and you can return them to the driver for them to be recycled so i thought that was really good as well 
Okay, so I have come up with a weekly meal plan here and all we've got to buy is potatoes and pita bread. So yeah, sorted it. <laughs> so Monday we're gonna have bacon, eggs, chips and beans. And then Tuesday we're gonna have that pasta bake, the mac and cheese one, and I'm gonna save a bit of the bacon. So we'll have a bit of bacon. And I have got some cherry tomatoes still, so I'll put bacon and cherry tomatoes in that and that's really nice. Then we are going to have vegetable noodles on Wednesday and tuna pasta on Thursday. Friday, the kids will have um, corn nuggets and chips and we'll have jacket potatoes. Then Saturday, we're having nacho potato pizza and that is like my absolute favorite meal that I've tried from the John Paul app so far. And that was in my what I eat in a day. So if you wanna see that, that's in that video. And yeah, that is one that's definitely stuck with me that I had never tried before and I love it. So yeah, that's what we need to get potatoes for. And then the kids will have pita bread pizzas. So that's what we need to get the pita bread for. So to be honest, I won't actually need to buy that in this week. I, will can, I can get that in my next food shop. So that's fine. And then roast on a Sunday. So yeah, managed to sort it for this week and it's all really simple meals which obviously I love. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have and if you're not already subscribed I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye!